In this video, we're going to look at managing Active Directory Organizational Units, or OUs, with PowerShell. Let's start by viewing the OUs that already exist in our lab. By specifying a filter with a wildcard, we will be shown every OU. The key properties to be aware of at the moment are the name, distinguished name, and GUID. All of these can be used to specify an individual OU. Now let's create our first OU, called TechSnips. Because we haven't specified location for this new OU, it will be created at the root of our domain. We can see this using the get ad organizational unit commandlet and filtering on the name TechSnips. The distinguished name shows the location of this OU within our domain, however I'll quickly jump over to Active Directory Users and Computers to show the graphical representation of this. We're now going to need some OUs to contain computer and user accounts, and these will be nested under TechSnips. Let's grab the distinguished name of that OU and store it in a variable so that we can easily reference it going forward. Next we'll create two new OUs, one each for computers and users, and we'll specify the distinguished name of the TechSnips OU as our path. Again, let's see that that's worked. In this organization, we're going to be separating users into different OUs based on which office they work from. So we'll be creating five new OUs representing different cities in the United States. Our first OU will be for New York City. All relevant parameters have been defined in the template hash table, and I'll pass that to the new AD organizational unit commandlet to create it. For each additional city, we'll update the unique values within the template hash table and call new AD organizational unit again. Let's view the results in Active Directory users and computers. There are a number of properties that can be set on an OU. To make it clear that TechSnips is the root OU under which we are organizing our objects, let's set a description. Remember that the base OU variable contains the distinguished name of the TechSnips OU. If we look at that OU now, however, you'll note that we cannot see the description we just added. In order to see this property, we need to specify it specifically. From time to time, you'll need to remove OUs. Let's imagine that we've closed our Chicago office and no longer require the corresponding OU. If we try to delete it using the remove AD organizational unit commandlet, you'll be prompted to confirm the operation, but the OU isn't actually deleted. This is because new OUs are protected from accidental deletion by default. We can use set AD organizational unit to turn this protection off by setting the protect from accidental deletion parameter to false. We'll attempt the removal again and also set confirm to false and this time the OU is removed. We can confirm that this has worked by searching the parent container again. If you're sure you don't need this protection from accidental deletion, say for example you're creating a test OU, you can set it to false during its creation by setting that same parameter to false. We'll delete our test OU right away and note that it's worked as the protection was not enabled. Finally, let's find out about moving an OU. Earlier we deleted our Chicago OU. The decision that prompted this has been reversed. So let's create an OU for the office again. In our haste, however, we have not specified a path. So the OU has been placed at the root of our entire domain and we'll need to move it to the proper location. I'll start by getting the distinguished name of the Chicago OU and assigning it to a variable for easy reference. In order to move the OU, we need to disable protection from accidental deletion as this will prevent relocating the object. With the protection turned off, we can now use the move AD object commandlet, specifying the distinguished name of the OU we're moving, and also the distinguished name of the new parent location. Finally, let's turn protection from accidental deletion back on. Let's check the GUI to ensure that this operation was successful. That has been managing Active Directory organizational units with PowerShell. Thank you for watching.